What's good everybody? It's Lance again and today I'm giving you guys another react video. Actually a music review. So basically we got Macklemore who hasn't come out with anything relevant since 2014 or 2013 if I'm not mistaken. It was the same time that uh, you know he snubbed Kendrick for the, you know, the Grammy for best rap album or something like that or best new rap artist or something like that. But yeah he hasn't come out with anything relevant since then and Macklemore just came out with his newest newest single featuring Lil Yali, Lil Yachty, like yeah Lil Lolly, no Lil Yachty, he's great, I, I, I really fuck with Lil Yachty, we got Marlamade, or Marmalade, or Marmalade, we got Marmalade, 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 Marmalade. Marmalade. I do enjoy some of his music, that's gotta get our head of ourselves, like you know, his album that kind of like broke out a couple years ago, a few years ago actually, um, I, I, I dug for the most part, there were some songs that I felt to be like very repetitive or I just didn't think that were all of that but it got like a lot of recognition and stuff like that because apparently the whole album did uh, but yeah it was fine you know what I mean like you know it, it got a lot of recognition that year it made Macklemore relevant to this day and uh, you know Macklemore I guess is still making music um, I think his last album he did I'm not sure what the name was I, it was very quiet um, I know he came out with some singles before that that I didn't really listen to uh, so this, I'm gonna listen to this because, you know, it's featuring Lil Yachty, who's very relevant right now, I think. I, I'd say, you know, among the, the new wave of rappers, the mumble rappers and shit like that. So, like, you know, let, let, let's hear this shit, you know, let's put this shit on, let's, let's, you know, let's review this shit, you know. Obviously, not gonna be the whole song, but, you know, we'll, we'll react to most of it. Come on, let's do this shit. Can't nobody get up in my car today. All right, so that was Macklemore's newest single featuring Lil Yali. Marmalade. I keep on saying Lil Yachty wrong. I'm so sorry, guys. Forgive me. But anyway, yeah, that was his newest single. To be honest with you, even though I was jigging, jigging to it and shit like that, fucking like moving and and just making a clown out of myself, um, you know, I felt like the song wasn't all that. I don't necessarily think that I'm going to be hearing this shit a lot. Like, maybe not by choice I'll be hearing it, but like, by choice, I won't be. Like, I honestly don't think that I'm going to be putting this on my Spotify rap playlist. I never really thought that Macklemore was, like, a guy had like that had, like, the best flow in the world. I, don't, I mean, like, some of his songs were catchy, with, but it was mostly because of the chorus and the people he had on the tracks. Um, not necessarily because of his voice. His voice or his delivery or just... The way he flows and rhymes his bars and not necessarily what I would call like, like really like, m you know, a melodic. His newest song may be trying to like incorporate that newer style of rap inside of his, because inside of his album, because like Macklemore always seemed to be like more of the lyricist than an actual guy who was able to like put together a decent rap, but also like put it in a flow that was like the like like trap or like almost like the Migos or like any other like these these rappers nowadays that have been you know you know euthanizing that you know style of rap and uh, just using it to their advantage I feel like he doesn't necessarily do it to its full fullest potential with this song Lil Yachty he's fine he brings you know what he's been doing to a lot of his features as of late um, I still think that his best feature and probably the best feature he'll ever have is the feature he had on Broccoli with Dram, but that's it. Lil Yachty right now, I didn't feel like he was that good on this track, honestly. I felt like his bars were a little lazy, to be quite frank, and I just didn't necessarily like like this song all that much. I know you guys were like, well, this guy, well, you know, this motherfucker was just dancing to it. Yeah, I was dancing to it, but, you know, I just didn't, you know thinking about it, I just didn't think it was that good of a track to be honest. I mean, 
you know, let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. Did you guys like it? Did you guys dislike it? Do you think that it's going to be a hit? Do you think it might be a miss? And do you think Macklemore is still relevant? Because personally, I haven't heard a song from him in like almost two years. So uh, I think that was a that was a white privilege song, bright privilege too that he came out with. But then like I only heard a little bit of that. But then that's it. But other than that, Macklemore has kind of been a wall or a little quiet as of late. And I don't know if this is necessarily going to help. But maybe with the acquisition of Lil Yachty on this track, it might because Lil Yachty might push it to his fans. But Macklemore, I'm not sure about him. But let me know. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Peace.